Welcome to Tricky Trivia. We got two Try Guys, we got two food babies, because today is a very special Tricky Trivia. It's all about fast food. Oh, oh not really. Oh, <laughs> Give me those fries. Give me those golden arches. This is another episode of Try Guys Game Time. One more time for the food babies. It's another episode of Try Guys Game Time. Our Try Guys Collectibles are here. It is so cool seeing you guys tag us in photos of your Boops and Bops collection. If you haven't gotten any, there's still time left. And especially if you order by midnight tonight, you have a chance of getting a signed four collection. Get them for Christmas. Get them for late Hanukkah. Maybe you're single. You can have four new boyfriends. Hot. <laughs> oh, what's that? We gotta get back to the video. We got a lot of fast food trivia to serve up, and I gotta serve it. Costume change! Hey, I'm contestant Zach. I was an hour late today because I forgot we were filming. Oops. Hello, I'm Ned. My favorite fast food item is the McDonald's hash brown. It's a great choice. Thank Same. you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's very good. It's you very can't good. have two. Hi, I'm YB, and I love eating fast food, but I don't know anything trivia related about fast food, so I'm worried. I'm good at Oh, eating. yeah, I also don't know any trivia. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alexandria. I also don't know much trivia, but I love to eat fast food. Um, favorite fast food is McDonald's. Like, McDonald's is the most popular, but I thought it was just because it's like everywhere. Not because it's, it's good. delicious. No, it's good. What are you talking about? You out of your goddamn mind? I, I would say that the way they handle potatoes. Yeah. The best. All right, so once again, how this works is I will ask you a question, you will write down the answer, we'll go through and hear all the answers, and if you get one wrong for this round, you will be given a fast food salad. Today, all the fast food salads are from Wendy's. No shade on Wendy's. It's just the closest fast food place with salads. It's open this morning. Is there a prize at the end for the well, winner? Well, Ned, I'm glad you asked. There is a prize at the end of the day. The winner of today's Tricky Trivia Fast Food Edition will not receive a gift card to fast food, will not receive a gift card to fast casual food, but rather a real restaurant. They will be winning a $500 gift card to Nobu. Oh, what? A premier sushi restaurant in me? West Hollywood, California. I should have studied. I know, man. Oh, the steaks just got a little bit higher. No, no, it's sushi. Sometimes you can have tuna steaks, though. Hey, let's get this game on the road, huh? First question. Oh, now I want to win. McDonald's is one of the most recognizable fast foods in the world. But what other title does it hold? Does it hold A, the world's largest buyer of sesame seeds? B, the world's largest toy distributor? C, the fastest average burger assembly? Or D, the world's largest business consumer of dairy? Think it out. Huh. Think about how much you love McDonald's. How much you love that spooky clown. <laughs> Alexandria, what you got? B. B, largest toy distributor. Why B? B. B, for why B? Fastest burger time. C for Ned and? I know that they innovated like the two-step oh, whatever. So I'm hoping that they stayed, they kept that crown. C. Great logic, Try Boys. Food babies, I'm sorry to say, I know you love fast food. You don't get any of this round. Ned and Zach, you're wrong. What? Sorry, boys. No. That's right, the answer the was B. The world's largest toy no. distributor. You tell me that's more toys than Amazon? You tell me. You know what? I don't know about that. <laughs> I can't tell you that for sure, but that's what the card says. Since the inception of the Happy Meal, McDonald's has become the largest distributor of toys in the world. Each year, they distribute 1.5 billion toys worldwide, and approximately 20% of all sales of the restaurants include a toy. Every time you get a question wrong, you will get fast food, but it will be a fast food salad. Oh, oh. no. Oh. Iceberg lettuce, yum. <laughs> I don't mind fast food salads. Well, either. lucky for you, but most of us don't enjoy them. And don't forget, every taco salad needs salsa, oh. and every taco salad needs chili. Oh, God. And every taco oh, God, salad needs chili. sour cream. I, I, can't, I can't eat this, bro. Do your best. Eat around it. It's a cheese salad Eat around chili. it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Zach, I'm not sure oh. if I do. Ooh. Uh. There you go. Yeah. Salsa and chili. Nothing says salad what? like that. There's so much cheese. Really more of a nacho salad, I'd say, than a yeah, taco salad like at this point. <laughs> What's the verdict, Ned? Pretty good. Oh. Pretty good. You should put lettuce on salsa more often. There's something nice about a, a nice crunchy piece of water mm. to wash yeah. down your chip. 
I think Taco Bell does. They do? Hmm? They put lettuce in their salsa? No. Oh. They have lettuce on their tacos. Oh. They, do. they sure do. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Not Wait, bad. you think you should put lettuce in the salsa? It was a bad joke and, and you just agreed with that. <laughs> <laughs> Question number two. What is Burger King called in Australia? Is it A, Hungry Jacks? B, King of Burgers, C, Burger Box, or D, Wimpy. Let's start with YB. YB, what'd you put down? I put D, because I thought it would be a weird name. D. Hungry Jacks. Hungry Jacks. I don't know why. Just... I've traveled to Australia. I took a photograph. I thought it was funny. Hungry Jacks. No. Oh. Oh, hey, oh, man. Hungry, hungry Jacks. <laughs> well, Zach, you're right. Your memory served you well, YB. That is a miss for you. So sorry. Everyone else gets a point. Putting Alexandria in the lead and earning YB her own Yay. jalapeno popper salad with Ooh. crispy jalapeno jalapeno croutons. So much good. jalapeno. I like jalapeno. Just one lady. You want some chili for that salad? I got that <laughs> okay. okay. Not a punishment anymore. Oh, oh these have cheese. They're bacon. This is tough, because I'm trying to keep the memory of a Nobu $500 gift card oh, in my, my mind, <laughs> but I think Alexandra's the loser here. <laughs> <laughs> I think I am too. These salads kind of look good. Question number three of the easy round. Again, which a lot of the times easy rounds have been very hard for whatever reason, but we continue. How many holes are there in a White Castle patty? What? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yep, that's the question. How many holes? Oh, it's not multiple choice? Oh, well, I'm gonna give you the, the number. I just wanted to make sure everyone was thinking about the holes. We're thinking about holes, Keith. All right, A, seven holes. <laughs> B, six holes. <laughs> C, five holes. Or D, four holes. You know, I don't think I've ever been to White Castle. They have holes? <laughs> In the past. That's the mythos. Ned, what you got? Five holes, Bob. Five holes from Ned. Zach. I was trying to do the math because it's like <laughs> there's they're square, but then they're usually connected in a series of four. I love this. Um, Look but at this I geometry. then panicked and I guessed. So Should my math, I, I showed my so six. Six. Well, thank you for showing your work. Four makes sense. Where else would the holes go? I don't know yet. Uh, Alexandria, what you got? Five. Five for Alexandria as a guess? I also put five C. Well, we also put C for five. And let's just uh, find out here. In 1947, a burger flipper, Earl Howell, work, working in a Cincinnati White Castle, left a note in the store suggestion box stating that putting holes in White Castle's patties would help them cook faster and help the kitchen keep up with rising demand. By the end of the year, every White Castle patty in America had five. <laughs> Sorry, yes. Zach. More meat and cheese salad coming to you. I almost changed mine to four. Well, but I thought it was like one, two, three, four, and one in the middle. Right. That's yeah, what yeah, I was thinking, yeah. too, like a little dice. Zach, I got you a little apple pecan salad. Ooh. At least those things you can eat. I love apples. And this oh, is a pretty cute. good punishment. I think I'm Team Alexandria. Pretty good fast food salads. I'm going to make like a little salad right there. A little apple and nut wrap over here. Pretty good. That's an apple. Consider yourself punished. Uh, all right, we're gonna move on to the final question of the easy round. What do McDonald's golden arches supposedly symbolize? Is it A, french fries? B, breasts? <laughs> C, burger bun and ketchup? Or D, the New Hampshire state logo. The New Hampshire state logo. That's right, what do McDonald's golden arches supposedly symbolize, Ned? <clears throat> I don't think it was founded in New Hampshire. And isn't the New Hampshire state logo like, like a little man with a rifle? Ned, don't come here. <laughs> but how do you think you know that? I don't know. He lived close to New Hampshire for a while. So do I. That's true. Let's actually, just for the audience at home, see what the New Hampshire state logo is right now. We're gonna start with Zach, what you got? Booby, oh, sorry, B. <laughs> very nice, <laughs> Zach, very nice. I appreciate the areolas there. A, French fries? A, French fries, YB, let's see. Same, A, French fries. A for French fries, C, and then. buns and ketchup. Buns and ketchup, well, let's get into it. The M stands for McDonald's, but the rounded M represents a mother's breast. What? As, as reported by the BBC in 2003, oh, Louis Cheskin, a specialist in the psychology of the marketing world, with McDonald's and his research showed that the arches symbolize Mother McDonald's breasts. 
Thanks, Mom. I was like, oh, it can't be B. They're giving us a free pass. I thought it was maybe like chicken breasts, but nope. Oh, like a baby to the teat, so do we also head to the Golden Arches for nourishment. We've got the Southwest Avocado Salad for Alex. Ooh, yum. We've got the, the Caesar Salad for Ned. Mm. Actually, for YB. No, and we'll give another, another jalapeno popper salad. For Ned over here. It's really like the, the jalapeno. I'm so thrown off. I did not think it was gonna be boobs. Same. I thought it was gonna be yeah. deep. That's so why it was sure. boobs. <clears throat> Should have guessed boobs. Bam, 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 bam. I'm gonna just put this whole jalapeno in my mouth. How was it? Not spicy at all. Wow. Wait. Wait. Mm, oh, so you don't actually there. get poppers in mm. there. Yeah, okay. That's, yeah, mm. With a little it's, spicy. A little spicy. Mm. Just the right amount for middle America. <laughs> I think I'm just like still stunned by that answer. I can't get over it. <laughs> About the titties? Yeah, it just broke my brain. <laughs> Let's talk about the plight of food deserts in this country. Let's move on to the medium round. For Tricky Trivia Round 2, instead of being given a punishment every time you miss a question, you're actually going to lose a reward every time. Contestants, open your eyes and look at the feast before you. Oh. McDonald's French fries, some Shake Shack nuggets, oh. some delicious sauces, and of course, a sandwich from Shake Shack as well. Every time you get a question wrong, our good buddy Jack will walk through and uh, he'll take something away. If you miss all the questions, you will be left with nothing. Until, of course, round three when you'll get to blend up some of your favorites. But we're hungry. I know you're hungry. That's why you need to use that brain to power your tummy. Which of these facts about the real Colonel Sanders is not true? A courtroom brawl with a client derailed his legal career. That's A. B. He wounded a business rival in a deadly shootout. <laughs> B. C. He once crashed his car into a gas station. And D. He sued Kentucky Fried Chicken for $122 million. I feel like it's a trick question. It's a tricky it's question, true. that's for sure. It's yeah, tricky trivia. Like... So we're going with tricky trivia officially, not terrible? Welcome to terrible trivia! <laughs> Here's part of the question in my mind is like, what year do I think this man was born? Oh, right. <laughs> Alex, what did you choose? C. I'm not confident. C. Crashed a car into a gas station. Why B? Chose B. I mean, there can be a shootout. Okay. And <laughs> Ned? Well, I was really torn between C and D, but I went with $122 million. $122 million. Seems like a lot of money for like the 60s. So we have a C, a B, and a D. Can you give us an A, Zach? <laughs> could, could, could crash the car. Could, could, could crash. You went with C? Let's find out. The one that is not true is in fact C. <laughs> He never crashed his car, but apparently he did do Dang the other it. things. Let's learn a little bit. While working for the Justice of Peace Court, Court Sanders was arrested for attempted assault and battery, intending to pummel his own unruly client with a chair. <laughs> and an extra fun fact, KFC originated as a gas station. What? Yeah, as a gas station and a bed and breakfast, and then also became a fried chicken restaurant. This man was like off the rails. Yes. What year was he born? Decisions. Was he even a real colonel? I'm not sure if he was ever born or if he sort of descended from a greater plane. Wow. Jack, can you come here and take YBMN's sausage? Sausage? Oh, what? Yeah. Not the sausage, oh. sorry. No. Now your food will be bland. <laughs> bland no. food. No. And of course, if your food is bland at home, help yourself out with a little Keith's chicken sauce, Keith's burger sauce, or Keith's taco sauce. They're online, you should buy some. Or dip it in some Zadiko tea. Or dip it into tea. <laughs> or buy my cookbook. Or buy a cookbook <laughs> and make your own flavorful food. Which state has the least fast food restaurants per capita? A good old fashioned per capita question. Ned loves these. Per capita. A, New York, B, Vermont, C, Alaska, or D, Rhode Island. A little tiny baby state. How did that thing get to be a state? So tiny. You get states like Alaska that are almost the size of America. <laughs> you got Rhode Island. Equally important. All right, let's let's uh, let's find out what we got. Let's start over here with YB. Uh, let's see. C from YB, Ned. Since you said per capita, I'm actually guessing New York, because it's got a lot of people. A for Ned. Zach? I'm going B for a bunch of hippies in Vermont. 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 Hippie, dippy, yippy. B is in fact correct. YB and Ned, who are perhaps the most excited to eat this food, are going to now lose their French fries. Give me those fries. Give me those golden arches. Give me that, give me that sweet clown okay. mother milk. Can I sneak one before they go? No, 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 no. That's, all, that's, not, that's his fault. That's his fault. That's true, that is his fault. I just know it's where Ben and Jerry's is, and like, they're cool. They smoke weed. I feel like they're like enlightened. Mm. Your guys' failures never tasted so good. 
To all those Eat the Menu fans, you may know the answer to this question. Mm. What was the sandwich shop Subway originally called? A, Pete's Super Submarines, B, Sam Submarine Sandwiches, C, The Sandwich Box, or D, Sizzling Submarines? I remember this and I forget this. I remember this. I'm sad. I have no idea, so it guesses the same whether you do it fast or slow. Ned, let's see that answer. Sam's. I that went with B, but I think it's C. B went with Sam's Submarine Sandwiches. I think it's B. A, Pete's Super Submarines, and why B? I put D, which no one put, so it's probably wrong. Sizzling <laughs> Submarines. The fact that Subway never started with hot sandwiches, but you thought it was Sizzling Submarines, it's very fun to me. In 1965, high school graduate, 17-year-old Fred DeLuca and family friend, Dr. Peter Buck, <laughs> teamed up to open their first submarine sandwich shop in Bridgeport, Connecticut, originally called Pete's Super Submarines. That is the beginning of the Eat the Menu Subway video. And congrats to me. <laughs> Take me to Nobu. <laughs> Dang. Which one are you taking? Uh, I'm taking away the nuggets. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't want that sandwich. You guys, YB's gonna leave. <laughs> we have to leave or something. <laughs> I've gotten all of them wrong this round, so I really just wanna get the next one right so I can eat this sandwich. It would mean a lot to me. Well, I'm excited for this question because this question is another McDonald's one and it's a great question. Oh, but first, yeah. let me just enjoy myself one of these delicious no. Shake Shack. Uh, oh shakers. my God. All their nuggets are mm. really good. Oh yeah. Don't make eye contact with us while you eat. That's good. <laughs> Don't do that. That's good. Go. Okay. Mm. I'm so sorry. This is so good. Really quite good. Best. McDonald's once made broccoli taste like which of the following? A, beef. B, strawberry. C, bubble gum. D, mint. You'd think that if I'm randomly guessing, I'm gonna get at least one right. That's true. And eat this chicken sandwich. Well, that would be great. What you got? Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Beef. <laughs> Beef? That would make more sense. While it would make more sense, things don't always make sense at McDonald's. No! <laughs> but kids sure do love bubble gum, don't they? Yes! According to Business Insider, McDonald's CEO Don Thompson revealed that the chain had engineered broccoli to taste like bubble gum to encourage kids to eat healthier. I can't imagine a worse flavor. Congrats to you, uh, uh, and so sorry to YB, who managed to miss every <laughs> single question, therefore getting none of the only good food served today in today's Tricky Trivia. It's fine. Now, you oh, may yeah. eat. Oh, and there was a little sauce inside. Oh, oh, where's y where's YB sandwich? Jack, Jack, we had a a, a spare sauce if it got through. That's a trick. There's nothing I like more than the fried chicken sandwich from Shake Shack YB. Thanks so much for your loss you know, today. I love water. So. Your loss is my gain. Say, how many days ago did we buy these french fries? These french fries are not fresh. Because we waited for you. Because Zach was an hour late today. So his Man, complaints are his own fault. Critical for someone who was an hour late today. <laughs> Jack, you want some nuggets? Thank you. I can't eat them, so it's on. I can eat them later, too. Wait, if everyone got everything wrong and I got everything right, can I win? You would be tied. So you're not out of the game yet. Wow. <laughs> Let's move on to the last round. The hard round. The blender round. Oh, no. oh. It is now round three. The hard round. The final round. The questions are harder and the punishments go way harder. You'll see in front of you, you each have a sort of meal from a different fast food restaurant. We got some Taco Bell, some McDonald's, some KFC, and of course, a little bit more McDonald's since uh, fries and soda are really the only thing Zach can handle. So every time you get a question wrong, you're gonna put one of those things into the blender. At the end of this round, not only will you have won or lost, but you will have to take uh, several good-sized gulps of your oh. new McFlurry of sorts. Several good-sized gulps. <laughs> Even the winner will have to take at least one swig. It's the sort of final earning of that Nobu prize. Which fast food chain once delivered to the International Space Station, the ISS, if you will? Burger King, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, Domino's. Alexandra, what do you got? Pizza Hut? Pizza Hut, YB? I got Domino's. Domino's? I also guess Domino's, 30 minutes or less, baby. <laughs> and Zach? Oh, no. Also went with Domino's. Well, boys and girls, I'm excited to say that no one out pizzas the hut. 
That's right. Oh, wow. That's right. In 2001, Pizza Hut announced that it had become the first company in the world to deliver a pizza to outer space. The Pizza Hut chain said it paid the Russian space agency about a million dollars for the promotional stunt. That's a B. See, there's a little dotted line. It was a B? It's a B. See? Gosh, it really looks like a D to me. No, it's, a, I meant, it's meant to be a B. Well, I'm so sorry. Congratulations to Alexandria who does not have to put anything in her blender, but everyone else does. So let's see what choice you're going with first. I really thought we had that one. I really thought you had it too. <laughs> oh, you're putting in some water too, that's nice. Some Sprite. Some Sprite, yeah. of course. So it can marinate. It's not a true-false situation. Which one of these statements is false? The other three will be inherently true, but one of these things is not like the other. Several fast food salads have more calories than burgers on the menu. B, there are 19 ingredients in a McDonald's french fry. C, Jack in the Box is in the process of expanding to over 100 new locations. Or D, 40% of the large fast food chain locations in America are just two restaurants, parentheses, Subway and McDonald's. Those so two restaurants are Subway and McDonald's. One of those statements is untrue. Three of them are true. Let's start with YB. What you got? I think it's B or C, but I put C. You put C. Ned, what you got? I, I think it's... I think it's B. Oh, man. B, 19 fry <laughs> ingredients. Zach, what you got? The Jack in the Box in Hollywood shut down. I think they're not doing too hot. Oh, no. B. B. Hope you're hungry because none of you are right. Oh. What? <laughs> Dang it. Subway and McDonald's make up about 30% oh, of fast food yeah, chain so locations bad. in America. Oh, not 40%. And uh, that means that uh, you all will add something to your blender right hey. now. The spirit of that was correct. The spirit was correct. Ned, what you adding in? I'm going gravy. Ned, only adding things that are already pureed so far. A beautiful sight. I'm doing rest of my milk. No, 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 that's not how it works. You're putting in half of those fries. Half of those fries, man. Or you can put the whole sandwich in or half of the fries. Two fry installments. That's a dry burger. No, oh, 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 wow, just. Well, I'm just gonna do some Coke. Okay, we'll start with some Coke. That's this fair. Bullshit. Fair is fair. Now, I will say, Ned, yours could be good. KFC's famous bowl is quite nice. I think KFC's famous blend would be good, too. It's good, Keith, because I'm over two. <laughs> and, uh, if Alexandria gets the next two wrong and Zach gets the next two right, it's possible we would have a tie? Is that where we are? Mm, maybe hopeless. <laughs> Me and YB are gonna go to Nobu ourselves with our own money. Mm. <laughs> All right, in 2019, NBA legend Shaquille O'Neal invested approximately $78 million into which burger franchise? Is it A, Carl's Jr., also known as Hardee's? Is it B, Jack in the Box, also known as Jack in the Box? Is C, Five Guys, or D, Whataburger, who is known for endorsing everything? decided he would physically endorse one thing very much. Ned, what you got? I guess Jack in the Box, but then I changed it to Carl's Jr. Zach? C. Five Guys, Burgers and Fries, very five. much. Yeah, I did five of those I love that, I love that. Cue. Alexandria, C. C. Five Guys. And YB? A. A. <laughs> We're usually the losers, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no matter what, Alexandria has assured herself a victory. <laughs> At one point, Shaquille O'Neal owned 155 Five Guys restaurants. Yeah! C, equivalent to 10% of the company's entire franchise portfolio. That means C is the right answer. Ned and YB <laughs> really not doing well today. Zach and Alexandria doing pretty okay for themselves, I would say. You just won, Alexandria. Oh, did I? You did. Alexandria has essentially oh, won the contest, but the game is not over because the punishments haven't been doled out. Well, let's go ahead and see what we're adding to those smoothies next. Wow, well, we have fries left, so. How many strips are you talking? I mean, how many strips are there? Probably the whole box. <laughs> There's a lot of strips. I mean, three, I think three is nice. I think that still would be kind of good. I think that's gonna be delicious, I'll yeah. try it. Uh, it is the last question to find out just how bad YB and Ed's punishments <laughs> will be. I never know any of the answers to any of the questions. <laughs> this game is just so frustrating. Well, well I figured know, like the big chain restaurants don't need Shaq's money. Uh-huh, so yeah. It's funny, because Ned has the highest education of any of us here, but... But fast food isn't known for being smart. No, it doesn't apply to this game. What food did astronaut John Young smuggle into space? What food did astronaut John Young smuggle into space? Was it A, a corned beef sandwich, B, bacon strips, C, 
chicken tenders, or D, a grilled cheese. Uh, smuggle into space. And three, two, one. Get those answers on the board. We're gonna start it out with Zach. If I'm risking it all, it's for a corned beef sandwich, mother You're risking it for the, uh, the, the brisket. Technically, corned beef is made of brisket. Risk it for the brisket. Risk it for the brisket. Bacon? Bacon, YB? I put C. Chicken tenders? <laughs> Me too, YB. <laughs> Chicken tendies. <laughs> we both got it wrong. You've been losing together all day. Might as well do it one last time. <laughs> Zach, you're right, it's corned beef. I don't know why you did it, but John Young was able to smuggle a corned beef sandwich on board Gemini 3, which was an orbital mission. Young was authorized to eat pre-approved space food, but smuggled the sandwich on board for his crew member astronaut, Gus Grissom. It wasn't even for himself. Wow, two full rounds. YB of complete misses. <laughs> Quite impressive. I don't think we've seen trivia go that bad for anyone. And then near her with nine incorrect answers was Ned. Uh, also, the worst performance he's ever had on the show. That's, that means like mathematically, I was guessing. I got, I got a quarter of them right. <laughs> and with only five missed answers, Zach takes second place. For someone who doesn't eat a lot of fast food, somehow you guess pretty correctly, or maybe you got a secret kink to learn a little bit about it. And Alexandria, a food baby, of course, should be the winner of the fast food trivia. Congratulations, Alexandria. $500 to Nobu. But first, let's see if you guys can swallow your loss and your victory. You didn't have to say it like that. <laughs> Alexandria, you, got, you only have to do blended soda? No, I also have to add a whole Crunchwrap Supreme. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh, oh that really that's a lot. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 it looks like that. corn chowder. Yeah. Ew. Ew. Oh my He's god. Oh. Hmm. Zach, 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 Zach. What do you think? I don't hate it. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, I love that idea. You have five sips. Okay, let's do it. What the shit, Rachel? It's so tricky, this trivia. It's just so grainy. That's it. Oh. It's getting like stuck in the crevices of my mouth. Mm. It looks like you just threw up in a cup and you're drinking it again. Yeah, I feel like everyone has a sense memory of vomiting at McDonald's as a kid. Yeah. Bring me right back. Yep. Or recently. I bet. <laughs> Congratulations, Zach. Five sips for five missed questions. Ooh. Now we move on to Ned. Here we go. Yeah, sometimes you gotta like really shake it up. Oh god, look at this oh, girl! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh god. I, I'm, I'm amped. <clears throat> oh, <good. laughs> mm, smells like gravy. <laughs> Let's hope that the gravy is the most overpowering flavor in the history of KFC. Kinda it kind of like looks a, like, a, a, uh, like a milkshake, <laughs> like a root beer float. So how many did I get wrong? You got nine <laughs> questions wrong, so nine, nine sips. Ned. 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 One. What do you think? Oh, <laughs> it's yes. pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good, you guys. Two. Ned's gonna finish the whole thing. Oh my god. <laughs> so good, you guys. Ned loves bad ideas. Maybe you're like Ned, get yourself the bad ideas collection today. There might still be some left. I if you really try like it, it. Yeah. I'm interested. But I think I'm gonna throw it look, up. Look, the texture. Oh, wow. It's bad. Really interesting smell there. But the taste. Maybe uh, Ned just skimmed off the top and it's like a different as yeah. it gets slower. Oh no. Well, it's still a blended nastiness, but like it's, it just tastes like mashed potatoes. Tell gravy, me if this is the same thing. Chicken. If you drink from the straw, I'm just curious. Uh -huh. I just want to know if you guys taste the same thing. Oh, that's, that's thicker. <laughs> Skimming from the top is better than whatever's going on at the bottom. Very thick from the straw pull, I'll oh. say. All right, YB. Blending pretty well, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that meat just fell apart. Ooh, it kind of looks like a milkshake. It's a meat shake. Meat shake. Meat shake brings all the boys to the yard. <gasps> oh, that's a paste. Oh, that looks like thick. milkshake. Yeah, but it's gonna taste like a hamburger. Bye, 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 bye. Okay, okay. Come on, YB. 
Oh my god. Are you gonna throw it? No, but that's bad. How is it? <laughs> Nine more to go. Is it meaty? Oh my god, it's like meaty but sweet. Like sweet meat. Oh. Kinda like Keith. Yeah. Yeah, kinda like me. That's really bad. <laughs> It doesn't even pour. Oh my god. It doesn't even pour. It's like cement. I'm just watching it inch closer to your mouth. It's so uh. thick. Oh my god, <laughs> that's so bad. Well, if you think the first two sips are bad, wait until you try the next date. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it seems quite chewy. Come on, YB. Come on, YB. You can do this. Get it, get Just it, a few get more it. sips. Think about every sip as a way to regain your pride from losing so bad in the trivia today. Yum. Yum. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah, imagine it's something uh, that tastes really good. The strongest food baby in the West. <laughs> it could have been Del Taco. Just think That's about true. the good McDonald's. Almost there. Are you, oh, you have to chew it a little bit. Oh. 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 Okay, that is my last one. Last one, sip. last one. Woo! Yeah. Yay! Yay! All right. Congratulations, Alexandria. You're the big winner. You're the big winner. <laughs> Crunchwrap really fought. You know, the least elements, but the most ingredients in there. Oh, okay, mine looks like throw up more than it does. Yeah. Yes. You're only four sips away from a Nobu gift card. But I answered most of the right questions. Shouldn't I not have to do this? Oh, it smells weird. Oh. You guys. It smells like Taco Bell. Oh, right. I don't want the gift card this bad. With Taco Bell's method of creating new foods, this oh. could be in its future. It smells like gasoline. Oh my Doesn't god. It? I wish it smelled like gasoline. It looks oh like my god. It's, it's, I'm kind of nervous I'm going to throw up. I feel up. like it's like getting worse, the color. Don't worry, guys. We're not going to have vomit in the video unless we have a verbal warning. So unless you you see warning vomit coming. Nothing's gonna happen. Okay, one, two, three. Just don't breathe through your nose. It's yeah, gonna be don't so breathe. fun. Uh, sorry, I really can't do all that. Is it that bad? Yeah. Tricky trivia! Well, we had a great time today. Congratulations to Alexandra, who wins $500 to Nobu. Oh. She did not enjoy her, uh, her punishment today, but no one ever does. This has been another edition of Tricky Trivia on Try Guys Game Times. Do I want to have a sip of it? Well, I'm so glad you asked. Let's try it. It the, smells like throw up. The soda? No, it smells like Taco Bell. Oh. oh. That's way better than Ned's. No, it's not. <laughs> That's totally fine. It tastes like Taco Bell.